What's up guys, welcome back to Destroy, Destroy it. it. And today, as you can see, we have brought, I wanna keep calling it a Crown Victoria. It's a Lincoln Town Car, 1998. It has 550,000 miles on it. I know I keep saying that, but I'm just, my mind is completely blown by that. I think it's like seven rotations around the earth is 550,000. Like, I think it's like 22 rotations is it? around the earth. And so we ordered this king size waterbed mattress, and you're now gonna see what goes on in my little brain? Car versus waterbed. With the car just sitting here, you know like all the movies, the action movies where they slide like across the... Yeah, do it. Oh crap, I just broke the, the windshield. It is completely... <laughs> how'd, how'd you manage to land it right on the windshield and shatter like that? It was kind of on purpose, yo. Okay, no need to <laughs> film the rest of the video. Uh, waterbed mattress versus car. It's already destroyed it. Caution, this merchandise must be acclimated to room temperature for 24 hours prior to attempting to operate. I don't think they realize and understand what we're doing with this. Warning, cancer and reproductive harm? What? I've already had all my kids, bro. If you've already figured out this part where we're putting the mattress inside of the interior of the car, well then you're right. And if you're wrong, I can't help you. Trying to stretch it from the dashboard all the way back here to the back window, but it's looking like we're probably gonna have to just make sure that it's up on the uh, steering wheel. Okay, next step is we need to hook up the hose. Okay, that's on tight. And then we'll screw this into the mattress and turn the hose on. These are made to fill up inside of your house, obviously, right? So these fittings are actually quite leak-proof. And uh, now that we have that, we don't have to worry about it leaking. One of the other things I wanted to do is measure the height of, the, of where the, the bottom of the car is to see how much we change and how quickly we change. Currently, uh, maybe we'll go right to the where the paint starts, the white paint, and right there, we're 11 inches. Branson, what's your guess? as to how far the suspension will go down with all this weight in it. Uh, I think it's gonna go down to like five. Five is your guess? Yeah. I'm gonna stay six, and then other things are probably gonna start happening. We're a little lower than that in the front. Let's just say 10 inches. And the back is 12 inches. So 12, 11, and 10. made a huge mistake. I opened up the door and the mattress is already coming out of the door. Okay. So, oh crap. I just want to pop it. Okay, no opening this door. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna cut it, dude. Are you serious? Don't you think? <laughs> not yet. Okay, of course, course not yet. <laughs> Maybe not at all. It might do it on its own. It might do it on its own. Dude, that is, okay, move. I'm going in. Dude, this is cool. The water bed in the car. Oh, dude, this is actually really comfortable. You know, I had I had to sleep in my car for a few months, and I'm thinking, dude, if you would have put a water bed in it, like a water bed in your car, bro, like that's the way to live in your car. So we had 12 inches on the back, 11 in the center, and 10 in the front, and right now we are at nine to the paint line. Center, we're about eight and a half, and the front, we're a little less, but probably about seven and a half inches. in there it's a Dude, it is like yeah it's getting big and you can see there's some pinholes right here that are leaking question is is the radial still work <laughs> <laughs> 
It's still dry, so of course it's going to work, right? Yeah. But we're getting pretty... It's, it's now like moving and shifting in place in there. Like there's areas that were like little pockets that were like tucked in and then they're filling up now and expanding. And I can literally like hear water mattress is moving into different places and rubbing up against the interior. Branson looked up how many gallons a king size mattress holds, as well as what the weight is of the water that's in the mattress. One gallon of water equals 8.35 pounds. Okay. And there's about 235 gallons of water Holy in a king cow. size water bed. Okay, so how many pounds is that? It's almost 2,000 pounds. Holy cow. <laughs> so we're adding 2,000 pounds to this car. Yeah. Now if I think about it, could we do that with putting humans in it? So if you have three people that can sit in the back and three in the front if it's a bench seat, each person weighs about, let's say 300 pounds. Let's put a little bit bigger people in it. 300, 300, 300. It's about how much weight this waterbed's going to be. Yeah. That's not terrible. It's not bad. It is making a lot of noise right now <laughs> inside of the car. Uh, we keep looking back thinking, okay, is it going to explode? Is it taking the steering wheel off? What is happening? Because water pressure with weight, it can do a lot of damage. Now, what you looked up was how many gallons a typical King mattress has when it's level. Yeah. We're filling the thing completely up. Completely up. So, so it's gonna be more than that. Quite possibly could be up into the 2,500 to 3,000 pound range by the time we're done. And as you can see with the car, it's becoming a low rider. Like it's it's getting pretty low, especially on the passenger side. The creaking and all of that is really getting it's getting crazy. It is getting crazy. More okay. and more every second. Okay, I think it's definitely to the point where it's expanding, like stretching like a balloon. It is solid like rock hard, I can push just a little bit in it. When I move it around, the water doesn't move around much in there at all. Let's take a measurement here really quick. And this is on the driver's side. We originally, on the back, were 12 inches. So the bottom was all the way up to here. We've dropped all the way down to seven inches, five inches down. Branson, what was your prediction? Mine was five. It's five inches right now. It is uh, the same in the center and about a half inch lower at the front. Five inches of drop so far on the spring. Okay, so we are five and a half inches on the back. And this is the passenger side. We are about the same roughly there in the center and the same in the front. Pretty confident that here in just a moment this thing is going to rip or tear or it's going to happen. It, there's so much water coming out of that right now, out of that pinhole. So much water. I guarantee we're at 3,000 pounds right now. Look inside of there. It's just a oh, massive it's... balloon, dude. <laughs> it's huge. It is giant. What's it, what's gonna happen here, though? I don't know. Like we, I've got a camera inside, and if it if it just bursts, the, the camera's getting ruined. That's all there is to it, dude. <laughs> it is crazy. Look at the tire. The tire is actually going flat. There's so much pressure in that. Holy oh, cow. Dude, we are so close to touching the ground. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Waterbed might actually win this fight. Dude, so far, the car is winning, but that waterbed is gonna burst at any moment. <laughs> Battle between the car and the waterbed, I think the car is going to lose. I really do. Look at the pinhole. Is it touching the ceiling? Dude, no, it's look, squirting. It's squirting out. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be next to the car when it explodes, though. I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe, you, I, dude, I just wanna go. Ready? Here we go. Three, two. <laughs> no, I want to see it burst on its own. That is so loud. My neighbors are going to kill me. I have to do what is right, which is I got to sacrifice and kill this thing. <laughs> and then 
now you need to lay on the water. I'm gonna bed. open the door. Get ready. Ready? Set. Go. <laughs> Oh, look at the floor. Look how much water is down there. <laughs> if it's allowing it to unlock and lock with the electric. Yeah! <laughs> now try the radio. Uh oh. The radio might be dead. The radio's dead. <laughs> but the AC is cold. There you have it, car versus waterbed mattress. I think the waterbed mattress would have won. I still nice. have no clue because uh, I think we're gonna leave it up to you guys in the comments below. Car one, mattress zero, mattress one, car zero. In the comments below, let us know. Also, we wanna know what you would like to see us do next. Let's collectively put them together in the comments below so we can make some incredible videos. Make sure that you come back for the next video because we're gonna go ahead and get in this car. And we're gonna head on down to a place that spits water from the outside in. How about car wash with the windows down? Let me get this thing clean. Oh, never forget that we love you and you are worth it. Destroy it.